Today's coaster countdown is of the top 10 roller coasters at Six Flags Over Texas in Arlington. This was the first ever Six Flags Park, and they are home to some great roller coasters. I have ridden most every coaster in the park, so I will be basing this off of my personal favorite roller coasters. So let's get started. Number 10 is the Runaway Mine Train. This coaster is known as the first ever mine train. Dozens of parks are now home to mine trains, and this is what started it. This was the first one. However, this very much is a family ride. It's not very extreme at all. Coming in at number 9 is the indoor coaster of the park. This is Runaway Mountain. This is a very compact roller coaster that winds around itself. It's a very moderate thrill ride, and in all honesty, it's just an okay experience. The biggest draw to it is that it's indoors, but other than that, it's really not anything special. Number 8 is La Vibora, the bobsled coaster. The overall consensus of this ride is that it's an enjoyable experience, but it's not anything to shout at. The biggest thing that makes this coaster such a draw is that it is a bobsled coaster and it's really the only one in the area. Number seven is the only wooden coaster in the park, Judge Roy Scream. This is a straight out and back wooden coaster, and it's an oldie too. Of course, what makes this coaster cool is that it is completely separate from the rest of the park. In order to ride it, you actually enter under a bridge, and then the entire coaster is on the other side of the park, separated by a lake. Even though this coaster has several airtime hills, the airtime on this ride is only okay, you're coming up out of your seat half the time, and because this coaster is an older ride, it is fairly rough. But it's not unbearable, it's still a decent experience. Number 6 is the spinning coaster Pandemonium. This coaster is one of many clones, so it's not anything special, but it's still a fun ride. Now we're at our top 5. Number 5 is the Shockwave, a Schwarzkopf looper. Schwarzkopfs are known for being pretty intense, but I was kind of disappointed by this coaster. I'd say that this ride is a step up from a family coaster, and it's when you're trying to get into more and more thrilling rides, but I didn't find it to be super forceful like other Schwarzkopf coasters out there. It has two vertical loops that are fairly fun, but the rest of the time this ride pretty much just meanders around. Number 4 is the B&M Invert Batman the Ride. Like Pandemonium, this coaster is also one of many clones, however this is a great clone. It is fast, compact, and intense, and a very fun ride. And we're in our top three now. Taking the third spot is the largest coaster in the park, Titan. This is one of the two Gaio Vanola hyper coasters. The other one being Goliath at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This is what's called a hyper twister coaster because it goes out, comes back, and then goes through the spaghetti bowl section of the ride. This ride is lacking airtime and consists of mostly banked turns. Even though this is the biggest steel coaster in the park, I just found it to be fine. It's a very solid ride, but I consider number one and two in this countdown to be much better experiences. Number two is Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, the launch coaster in the park that also goes backwards. This thing will launch you backwards out of the station into an inverted top hat, and following that you'll go into an overbank turn and then go shooting up a vertical spike where you will float up out of your seat and then go through the entire course again forwards. It is very fun, fast, and a shorter ride, but it is a wonderful experience. This is a very exciting coaster. So what could be number one? What I consider to be the best coaster in the park is the new Texas Giant, the RMC Steel Hybrid. The first one of it, too. This coaster is a long ride and consists of many bank turns. And when you watch an off-ride video of this coaster, you might say that it meanders around the course, but I found it to be very fast, and what's fun is that you get a lot of hang time on these bank turns, and many of these bank turns are very steep, which makes for a very fun ride. This ride will wind around itself, go through tunnels, it has a very steep opening drop, and this ride is just pure fun, and that is why I consider it to be the number one coaster at Six Flags Over Texas.